Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the Netflix movie that came out Friday called Lost Bullet. Now, before we get into that, we just want to know, let you guys know, you can always let us know what you guys think about what we're reviewing, what you think about the channel in, our, in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if, of course, if you liked what we were reviewing, give us a like. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. And enjoy the show. All right, so, again, the movie is called Lost Bullet. It is a foreign film. For those that live in America, it is not American, but it does get dubbed in American English, which is pretty cool, good for everybody, so you can follow along perfectly fine with no problem. And of course, there's subtitles if you need, if you prefer. So, basically, The Lost Bullet is supposed to be about a, as they put it, delinquent who committed a crime, got caught, and then a little bit into a sentence, turned to become a police mechanic to help them since he was really good at cars while they tried to basically boost their vehicles up to be able to withstand the speed and uh, trauma, physical vehicle trauma that occurred from chasing these uh, high-end, what was it, go-cars yeah. <clears throat> that were delivering drugs to cross country or wherever so basically they hire him to well not hire but get him to do that in lieu of having his sentence stay long but helping him shorten it what it turns out is when something goes wrong and now he's basically on a run and being framed for murder at yeah. this point so then he's basically got to try to fight and clear his name and so a lot goes on in between there that we'll get into in another video, which you will also be able to check out on our channel, hopefully uh, by the end of the week. We'll do a full spoiler review of it. So it centers around this main character, but in a way it felt like there was two main characters, him and the uh, enemy in the show. I mean, to me, it was really entertaining. It was better than what I thought it would be. A lot of action, a lot of dialogue with it, and honestly, the cast played their roles kind of pretty well. Some uh, upsetting moments, which I won't give away, but it was was really good. To me, it was like a Fast and the Furious meets. Uh, let's see, what would be a good detective thing? True Detective, in a way. Fast and the Furious meets True Detective to me, kind of. What you think? Um, all in all, it was pretty good. Uh, as you stated, it was a lot better than I expected, even. Um, I realized that it wasn't English, because then you know, I could tell, I watch anime, so I could tell if something is dubbed or not. So I, could, I knew immediately that it was dubbed. But all in all, it was a pretty good film. Um, it was action-packed. Um, the plot was really good. Um, it's only an hour and 30 minutes, so it's not a long watch. Um, so you can watch it. And like by the time it's about to end, look up and realize that you've only been watching it for what 50, 60 minutes. Um, so it, and it picks up. So it's like it's not like it takes forever to get to the point. It's very fast paced, um, and like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, I would give it probably about 7.5 out of 10 because it really kept me interested. It kept me going watching it. I mean, honestly. And in a way, I kind of was like, maybe they do a sequel. I'm hoping, but who knows? The way it ended, you never know. Yeah, and I will also, oh, I will give it a seven out of ten. Um, definitely, I don't think the way it ended is going to be a sequel. That's just me. But um, just all in all, with it being a foreign film, it was filmed pretty good. Um, there were some scenes that were really, really awesome um, that we'll divulge in a little bit more in our other spoiler review um, about the cars and stuff like that. But um, all in all, it's a very solid movie. I give it a seven out of ten. Oh yeah, definitely with that opening. That opening out was a little off-putting to begin with, but 
hey it was crazy and it was good well thank you guys for watching please again let us know what you guys thought in the comments below and as always like and subscribe and again the movie is called lost bullet on netflix now thank you guys and have a good night